finally, finally, finally. No, 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 wait, The Rock hasn't come back or anything, but the reason I'm so excited is because a feature similar to AirDrop is finally available on my Android smartphone. This feature is called Nearby Share. Hello everyone, I'm Aman Rashid, you're watching Gadgets360 and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Nearby Share on your Android smartphone. But before we begin, please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and hit that bell icon so you're notified whenever a brand new video drops. With that said, let's get started. So Android did actually have a file sharing feature which initially launched in 2011. Google called it Android Beam and it worked like this. I wonder why this feature never took off. Anyway, Google went back to the drawing board in 2019 and started working on a much better file sharing system, which is now called Nearby Share. It started rolling out recently and it's finally working on my smartphone. First, you should follow these steps to know if your Android smartphone supports Nearby Share. Go to your phone settings, scroll down a bit and select Google. After that, you tap Device Connections. And if your phone does support Nearby Share, you'll find the option on the next page. So you go ahead and tap Nearby Share to customize its settings. You can turn it on or off. You can select your Google account as well as set the device name. You can also set your device visibility along with having a control on the data usage. Google says that your phone needs to be on Android 6 or higher for Nearby Share to work. Now let me show you how to transfer files using Nearby Share on Android. Whether you want to share a photo, a video, an app from Google Play or even your location from Google Maps, Nearby Share can handle it all. In fact, wherever you can spot a share button on your Android phone, you can use Nearby Share. Follow these steps. Here I have two Android smartphones and I'm going to quickly share a photo from my Pixel to my OnePlus. For that, I will go to Photos, select a picture, tap the share button and select nearby share. As soon as I tap nearby share, I have this notification on my OnePlus. I'll just tap to start nearby share on my OnePlus smartphone. Now back on my Pixel, I will tap right here to share the file to the OnePlus. Simultaneously, I will accept the request over on the OnePlus and boom, instant transfer. Let's try this one more time. Let us now open Google Maps and I will try to share a location from my OnePlus to my Pixel. Let's search for a place, say Mumbai and we tap share. Then nearby share. Simultaneously, let's open nearby share on Pixel as well. So simply I tap here, I then tap accept on my pixel and just as that location shared. This is how you can share files between two Android smartphones using Nearby Share. iOS users, if you're watching this video, share your thoughts on Nearby Share in the comments below. As always, hit the like button if you learned something new and do share this video with others. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and for all things tech, log on to gadgets360.com.